Hello you guys the caterpillars and today we are going to be talking about my updated skincare routine so what I do in the morning and what I do in the evening. I might do a two part to this. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna do morning skincare routine and then evening skincare routine. But I'm so sad my mirror just broke, it just fell off my desk and shattered into a bunch of pieces so I'm very <laughs> upset about that so I thought I'm not wearing any makeup in this video because a, I want to talk about my skin and um, it's been looking quite good recently I do have acne prone skin I am combo skin I get oily in my t-zone and my cheeks get very dry but I do find that I am dry all over as well so I'm combo skin by that definition because I have dry and oily skin so that is fun and it's winter right now where I live so my skin has just been like wreaking havoc on being like super dry and flaking for a while so yeah I think I've kind of almost found the perfect skincare routine it's just like I have to tweak it just ever so slightly there's just a few things that I'm like not fully happy with because something is breaking me out still a teeny bit so I'm just trying to tweak it but this is roughly what I have until I can like tweak it and tell you guys like fully give you an update of how uh, my skin looks but it looks pretty good right now I don't have that many breakouts it's more just like acne kind of scarring on my face if you can kind of see maybe I'll take you in the bathroom later and show you in a more close picture but anyways the first thing I like to do in the morning when I wake up um, to clean my skin talked about this multiple times before um, it's a simple cleansing Marcella water I really just like using a plain Marcella water in the morning to clean my skin because I find if I use a cleanser on my face it just overstrips my skin and it just feels really tight and, um, and it gets really oilier too so I like using the simple one I've used up many bottles I just like the Marcella water this is basically I have a whole bunch of backups because simple went on sale so I just kept me using this one but I really do enjoy um, simple micellar water. I take that on a big cotton pad and wipe that all over my face. The next thing I like to use is the um, is a toner, and the one I'm using right now is my Biophase Lotion Toner. It's a really big bottle. I think I'm like right here. I found this for ten bucks at um, Winners or Marshalls. I can't quite remember the stickers on it. I don't. I think it was one of the two. Probably Winners. Um, but I'm sure you can find that marshes as well. It's with rose water and it says for all skin types. I was worried it was going to like wreck my, like be bad for my skin because it is fragranced. But it hasn't really irritated it too much I don't think to my knowledge. Um, but I usually like using a toner after I do my Marcella water to tone the skin and put everything back together. Or normal so yeah. And if I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to tone my skin after sometimes, I like to also use a facial spray. <laughs> I don't know if this does anything. I really like putting it on my face to kind of hydrate it throughout the day. But I'm using the Evelina uh, facial spray. It says it moisturizes, refreshes, and tones. I found this at seven for $7.99 at Winners. I really liked it. I, yeah. And if my skin is feeling particularly dry that day as well, I like to use the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. I am almost out of this stuff. I really enjoy it. It's with hyaluronic acid and black oat. This is youth preserving mist. I really like it. It's not paraben free. It's not tested on animals. It doesn't have any drying alcohols in it. To my knowledge, I don't think. And I really like it. So, yeah. On to the next thing that I like to do in the morning. I like to use a eye cream. Um, the one I'm using right now is by Skin Labs. It's an eye gel. I really like eye gels. I think I just like them. I like the way they feel on my skin. They feel a bit more cooling. I like to use this in the morning. Um, but it's by the Skin Lab Lift and Firm Collagen and Elastin Eye Gel. I don't know if it works. I haven't really noticed a difference, but I do really like using it in the morning. Um, and it's lasted me a really long time. I've like dumped it upside down so there's like a big hole missing in there just because like the whole thing is in here. But I use such a tiny amount that it takes so long to use it up. But I really enjoy it. I don't know if it does anything. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But I just like using an eye gel in the morning. So yeah. I'm looking at myself in the on my mirror behind me and I'm like I look so gross. <laughs> Not gross but just like I don't, I don't usually film main channel like not main channel but it's main videos without makeup on so I just feel like I look a little weird but you know this is how my skin looks it's a little uneven it's a little patchy in places it's a little red in places you know 
Anywho, we just can continue on. So the next thing I like to use in the morning is by Ordinary. It's the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Solution for Blemish and Acne Prone Skin. I like to use this in the morning. I use this particularly on my cheeks and my chin. And not so much my forehead because my forehead lately has not had a lot of breakouts on it. Um, because this can be very drying to your skin. So I like to only put it where I have the most amount of acne and the most flare-ups. So yeah, I like to use that in the morning. And then I wait two minutes in between putting on each serum. If I have time, if I don't have time, then I just like rush through it. But ideally, I like to um, take my time with my skincare. I also have been using the Val Jean Labs Hydrate Hyaluronic Acid Plus Vitamin B5 Face Serum. It was at Winners, I found this. It was $10 and it was a 2 ml bottle. Or almost 2 mils. This is 1.83 fluid ounces um, or 54 milliliters. So almost two fluid ounces, that's what I meant, right? not two mils. Because um, I'd be very small if it was only two mils. But the other thing, I love this. I love how it feels on my skin. Except I found out after I bought it, it has drying alcohols in it, which is really sad because I would totally buy this again. I really love this hyaluronic acid. Um, it doesn't feel sticky on my face because um, the ordinary one I found was sticky. And I just like how, like, um... I like the consistency of this and stuff, except it has drying alcohols in it, so I won't be purchasing it, and I'm really sad because I'm almost out, and I love it, but anywho, I'm on the hunt for another hyaluronic acid because hyaluronic acid is supposed to um, bring moisture into your face and stuff, and I need as much moisture as I possibly can get, so yeah. On to the next thing. I don't use a lot of serums in the morning. I like the most amount of serum that I use on my face is up to three. And I usually, I used to use my um, vitamin C serum in the morning as well, except that one says it's supposed to be used at night, so I use that one at night. But um, the next thing I use for my moisturizer is a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream with SPF 15 in it. It's also got hyaluronic acid in it as well. I like this because it has SPF in it. I like to kind of combat two with the other because I find face SPFs, they're just very oily and make my skin very shiny. And I already have oily skin. So I don't really appreciate that dewy looking glow that within a couple of hours makes me look super greasy. But if I don't use this and I'm um, one SPF, I do use the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face Sunscreen with SPF 60. I like to try to put this on my face if I know I'm actually going to be out in the sun. This one's kind of like, if I'm going to be inside all day but I'm going outside for like five minutes possibly like going from like school to... My, re my, re my dorm room to school then I like to put this on just so I'm like I have a little bit of SPF protection just because 15 is not a whole lot but in the winter too you know the sun's rays can still get in even though the sun's not shining but if I'm going to be out in the sun a lot that day I will opt for this Neutrogena one but it does kind of tend to break me out too so I don't like to use it very often and yeah and if I'm using that the next one which I'm not the hugest fan of this one because it um makes my makeup really oily but I do like it it's an Neutrogena Hydrogenous oily skin moisturizer so if I don't wear a sunscreen I put this on then I put this on or something or if I don't wear this one then I put this moisturizer on and that is everything that I do in the morning <laughs> and if I'm not wearing makeup that day I'll put on like a chapstick or throw on like um some Vaseline Lip Fairy rosy, rosy Tint or an EOS Lip Balm. So I'm just for a chapstick to keep my lips nice and hydrated. So I hope you guys enjoyed my morning um, skincare routine. Like I said, I'm still trying to like tweak it a bit. So yeah, I haven't fully found the products that I love. But as soon as I do, I will definitely come up with a video. I'm very close. But I just wanted to kind of share you, share with you guys this. So... Goodbye, beautiful butterflies. Bye.